Okay, so if you all have any questions about the new song, um, there's lots of stuff I will be telling you all. The song comes out June 25th, so not the, the Friday coming, but the next Friday. Uh, so in like 11, 12 days-ish. Uh, so yeah, I have a new song. It's called Dream of You, and I'm so excited to be able to tell you all that. I've been working on this song for roughly three months, since March, I think, March to April, May, June. Yeah, like three months. And uh, it's finally ready for you all to hear it. Uh, I'm working on uh, very special stuff right now to do with it, so there'll be a lot more um, like discussions with y'all coming about it because the song has a very special place in my heart as far as the meaning behind it. And um, yeah, definitely I'm touching on some very serious um, subjects and things that are important to me. Uh, as a, I love you too, Savannah. As an artist, I really like to put out messages that I think, you know, can do some good in the world. Um, and I like sending um, positive messages of love and light. So I kind of like took that route with it. Um, Y'all will know more about what I'm kind of getting at in, a lot, in, you know, the coming days, the coming weeks. But you can go pre-save, dream of you, go to the link in my Instagram bio or Twitter, Dion Yorkie on those. And please go pre-save, get a friend to pre-save. Um, yeah, everyone you know to pre-save, it's free to pre-save. And it really does help me out as an independent, independent artist. Keep liking up, y'all. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Aaliyah. Thank you, Reese. Thank you, Savannah. And um, yeah, there will be a music video for this song. I'm working on the uh, whole concept for that later today. Well, I already know that. Ramona, thank you so much. Sending you so much love. Happy Pride Month. Um, I'm, yeah, I already have the concept figured out mostly. Uh, I'm just trying to work out some logistics because y'all will know sooner what I'm talking about, but I'm planning on um, connecting the music video to a very important charity and all kinds of exciting things. Um, as an independent artist, I, you know, I put a lot of like money and time and work into my music and, um, you know, I'm not like a Billie Eilish of this world or whatever. So I'm not getting like millions and millions, hundreds of millions of streams. So usually when I put like money into the um, music and the art, I'm not really expecting to get money back from it. You know, it's more like I'm doing it because I love to do it. And that if one day that ends up turning into something more like a huge career path for me, that obviously would be a dream come true. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm saying that for is... Um, I want to attach this uh, message that I'll get into more later um, to something that can actually help people. So I'm going to be uh, linking it to a charity and um, openly having discussions with people about um, the message behind the song and kind of like just my experience and how the song was influenced through my experience and how, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll get into that later, but Y'all, I think you're really going to enjoy the song. It is very, it's got some, you know, some intense subject matter, but um, I want it to be more of like a celebration of life and love and um, stuff. So it is an upbeat song that y'all can dance to. So I cannot wait to see y'all all grooving out to it. And um, yeah, maybe some of y'all will connect with the message behind the lyrics and um yeah, it's cool. I'm excited. I'm really excited. It's it's got a special place in my heart, and been working on it for a long time. So I just I'm very excited to see what you all think about it. Um, so yeah, pre save, pre save, pre save. I can't say it enough. It does truly help me out, and yeah, it's free. So just like hack into all your friends' computers and pre save, and then they'll be like, oh, on June 25th, they'll be like, wait, why is this Dion Yorkie person's music coming up on my thing? And then you can be like, enjoy, bitch. Enjoy. <laughs> it is not letting me play your song. Um, my song isn't out yet. You have to pre-save it. It comes out June 25th. <laughs> not long, so wait, only like 11 days. Usually I'll do like a countdown for like two weeks, then I'll announce the song, and then there's like a two-week countdown to when it comes out. But this time I was like, I'm not going to torture y'all like that. I'm going to just let it out there and tell y'all that it's coming in 11 days. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, very cool. There'll be a lot of stuff talking 
more in depth about what I've kind of been teasing here to do with what the song's about um, on TikTok. So make sure you follow us on there and um, maybe on my YouTube channel and definitely on Instagram. So yes, very cool. I was doing some shopping yesterday. It means I went thrift store shopping and I was like finding some little pieces I'm going to be wearing for the music video. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm just so excited. Every time I finally get a song done, I'm like, yay! Because now it's like the fun part where, well, making a song is like my favorite part. But visual, creating like a visual experience for the song and like displaying to y'all like what the song means to me through visuals and through storytelling is like really cool and exciting and there's a lot of power and uh, it can just help kind of like strengthen the song and stuff so i'm very excited did you ever have a fake id when you were young zoe oh i love that question um yeah i did <laughs> uh, i had multiple y'all i was like a little rebel um i would love to like i had a lot of older friends like when i was 16 17 most of my friends were already legal drinking age like 19 um so at first i used my older brother's id because he was 19 uh, to get into clubs, and then, because I, I didn't, like, if you get, like, a fake ID in Canada, Canada's really, like, strict, typically, so if you get a fake ID, like, they're probably going to catch you and, like, not let you in, but if you have what I did, like, an ID, that's actually, like, um, like, uh, what's it called? An ID that's um, real, uh, then it's kind of more likely you'll get in, but you have to, like, look like the person, so... I use my brothers and I don't look like him at all, but I would like do little things with like my hair and stuff to like try and look like him more. And <laughs> it actually works. And then um, I think I got that ID taken away eventually. And then I used my, what should I use next? My brother's best bestie who ended up being a good friend of mine. Uh, he's gay. He let me borrow his for a while. And then this other guy let me borrow his, but he was like only for one night. And then I took it for like seven months and he was so mad at me. <laughs> um, shady, shady me. Um, and then when I went to the States, when I was like 20, I'd be like going into the clubs because I had like all those fake IDs and they were real IDs. So they worked. And it was, it was great. Um, yeah, obviously like don't drink underage y'all, but if you're there just to die out, it's a great time. What? Yeah, said, what'd you make me that for, Savannah? Yeah, and then said made me, like, an actual fake ID. So that was probably, like, my first actual fake ID. Because when I was, like, 16, I went to Toronto to try and purchase a fake ID. And the place where they said they sold them had closed down. But it was still, like, saying it was open online. So we're like, oh, great. We just traveled all the way here, like, which was difficult. But back then, when we were young... And I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, so I was very sad about that. But then when I met Seb a couple years later, um, we were in Savannah partying, and it's 21 there to party in the club. So Seb made me a fake ID, and I guess in Savannah, they're like, not, well, maybe they are now that they know people do it, but back then they weren't like strict, and Seb's IDs, I guess, were pretty legit <laughs> because um, they let us in, and it was so fun. The, the clubs in Savannah are so fun. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I'm sending you so much light and love. Happy Pride. Thank you so much. Y'all, like up. Use your free spins. And um, it's 30 degrees in the UK. Oof. I don't know how much it is here. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 23 degrees. Oh, it's nice here, too. It's 23. I got to run to the pool store after this. Um, I've almost perfected the pool, y'all, but I... Okay, here's the thing. When it rains, you can't, like, go get your water tested because the rain messes with your levels. So today's a nice day, and yesterday was a nice day, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go today. Because I went yesterday, and she was like, come back um, when the chlorine is down a bit. So I put the chlorine down, and now I'll go back today, and I'm going to be like, okay, what do I need to do to this pool? And then hopefully, um, like, it's swimmable, so Seb and I were swimming it yesterday. But it's not, like, perfect. It's blue. It's beautiful. But it just, the levels aren't perfect. So try to get them as perfect as I can before my family comes. Because my family, since the pandemic and everything, they haven't actually came to visit the house yet. So they're planning on coming very soon. And I want, like, 
the whole summer vibes, nice pool. I want to get like a patio furniture for outside. I want to get a barbecue. My grandma gave me money for a barbecue. Love her. <laughs> um, oh yeah. I saw my family all this week and it was very, very special. And just hugging them and like spending time with them um, without a mask on. Cause we're all vaccinated now. Like seven, I are fully vaccinated and they're all half vaccinated. And then we still kind of like kept our distance, but um, before we went, I got like a negative COVID test and stuff to make sure everything was, you know, as safe as possible. Um, but to just know like things are getting back to normal slowly, you know, there's hope for all of us as long as we all get the vaccines when we can. Um, but yeah, so it's so nice to see them. And then, yeah, my grandma gave me money for a barbecue. She's so cute. Cause I was like, I need a barbecue. And then, um, she was like tipsy and she's like, here, take this check, get a barbecue. And I'm like, grandma, I love you so much. Don't, I don't need to take your money. And she's like, no, please take it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm like crying. She's so cute. I love her. Um, so yeah, they're all going to come over. And the pool's going to be gorgeous. Can't wait. Y'all are second in guys. Keep liking up. Let's get to first. Um, I watched both years and subs videos last week. OMG, I was pissed myself laughing. <laughs> Is that what that means? Pissing my self laughing? Yes, PMSL. Yeah! <laughs> um, I feel that. They were very funny videos. Um, so I'm posting, are you posting today? So I was posting today, and I'll, I will probably post um, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. I'll let y'all know. <laughs> uh, I've been very into just surprise dropping videos lately, so stay tuned. Follow me everywhere so you don't miss it. Keep those notifications on. Uh, but yeah, definitely this summer uh, I'm going to aim to have two videos a week so very cool and then we post on TikTok every day uh, so much spicy stuff coming to Instagram to do with my music TikTok whatever and yeah this summer it definitely for me is about like continuing the self-exploration phase of my life because in quarantine I'm sure a lot of you can relate you had to like look inwards and see what you really want out of life and who you are and where you want to go so I'm just trying to continue to do that with my content and, um, and yeah, so excited. I can't wait to show you all the video and the song. Uh, June 25th is going to be a good weekend. It's Pride weekend. I'm releasing a song. It's Pride weekend. <laughs> we had our town's yearly parade this year. We didn't last year because of COVID. Oh, yay. I'm so glad that you um, and most people are shocked. Oh, like the vaccine. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I wish there was a pride parade. I think they're, they're doing pride parades downtown, but I, I have to look into it. Cause I was saying like, if people go and they're vaccinated and they wear a mask and they're outside, like it's really not that big of a deal. Um, so I feel like they should have a little parade. I hope they are. Y'all, this is just water, by the way. <laughs> I just, I like drinking water out of a wine glass. It makes it feel extra refreshing for me. I don't know why. I'm just that bitch. Uh, can y'all not go to Pride? Um, well, we're going to have a Pride party here this week, just with, like, our little, like, you know, our social little bubble, Nick, and we're going to have Joa here, uh, Vicky, Mel, and then, and then, yeah, that's our little Pride party, because we're going to do it the, the day that Dream of You comes out. But we can't, because uh, Nick and Ann are going to Vancouver, so we pushed it earlier a week, which is fine because I'm going to stay up till midnight on the Thursday for when the song releases at like midnight Friday. Y'all know what I mean? So, um, yeah, if we had a party the next like that day later on at night, I would be tired because I'd be staying up so late the, the day before for the release. So it kind of works out. It wasn't a pride parade, just a town one, but a couple of girls watching had pride gates. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> In Sweden, we are celebrating Midsummer the 25th, so it's a perfect day for your new song. Yay! Oh my god, it's a summer bop, um, and I feel like I've, whenever I've released music before, it's kind of been just like on a whim, like it's been like, this is a song I wrote, here it is. But this one, I was more like, okay, I know summer's coming, I know I want to make a summer bop, I know I want to release it in summer, so it's all working out perfectly this time, and I'm very excited about that. Um, and then y'all can just party to it all summer long. And all I can say is the last song you'll be hearing from me this summer. Um, so, yay! Pre-save dream of you! I want to sing it, but I can't. 
because that would ruin it. But there'll definitely be teases coming, y'all. I'm going to tease. Dream a little dream of me. That's not it. <laughs> That's another song. Um, but yeah, y'all, um, I'll definitely be teasing on like Instagram, TikTok, or whatever. I'll keep you posted. I'm not sure if the UK are doing any provide parades this year. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, COVID is still a threat. So I think this summer is going to be like everyone's slowly getting used to seeing each other again and like being outside together and stuff. But until everyone's fully vaccinated, we kind of still have to, you know, keep it careful. Are you going to post music on your new TikTok? Um, I I don't know. Because Seb and I, like, we have our TikTok together. And so if I, like, work really hard on content, I kind of just want it on that TikTok. Um, but I do have a lot of ideas um, for my music TikTok. So make sure you guys follow it. D on your key music on TikTok. And, um, yeah, I'm going to, later today, I'm going to plan, like, a whole thing of, like, everything I want to do for the song and blah, blah, blah. So I'll definitely try to incorporate like how I can fire up content for the Dion Yorkie Music account. I have a lot of fun ideas already in my notes. So it's just really about doing them. Um, so yeah, like I'll say, yeah, we'll try it out. I just, I want the, I want to like have like, I don't know, like 10 TikToks ready to go like really 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 good ones so that the account can like just thrive from day one i don't want it to be like half-assed like i put up two videos and then i don't post on there you know because that's me sometimes <laughs> so i will definitely work hard and get that sorted but if not those still those videos will make it onto our tiktok the sebastian account so either way you guys are going to see them but we'll see if the dion yorkie music account Get some love in the coming weeks. I'm I'm assuming it will, but we'll see. Seb's TikTok is just whatever he's thinking on that day. Yeah, I mean that's that's like fun too, you know, like just having a TikTok like where you can put whatever out. Um, but I want the music account to be. I don't want it to be like literally music related. I want it to be like music meets comedy meets um, me just being a goof. And, like, maybe um, me, like, making, like, I want to make, like, bitch tracks and, like, funny songs that, like, I wouldn't actually, like, do a full release of. But, like, um, that kind of thing. <laughs> so, yeah, just, like, a place where I can also maybe show my journey producing because I want to start learning how to produce this summer. So, yeah, that's kind of what that will be. It'll be a home for, like, musical stuff I want to do, but, like, not, like, my actual like songs that I keep top secret that get released fully and that's a whole other thing but kind of like the behind the scenes of the other stuff I'm gonna do this summer because I want it to be like a summer where I'm not like partying all the time like I'm gonna have a party for pride but that's pretty much it I want to take a break from partying and really focus in on like my craft and I'm just getting better at like playing instruments and producing and keeping really fit going on runs every day like I just want to, I want this summer to end and you look back and be like, I made it like the most I could, not like I partied all summer. Because <laughs> I've definitely done that in the past. <laughs> Since you're vegan, what do you like for meals? Um, I really love, oh, one sec. Thanks for reminding me, Barry. I definitely have to check on the soup. Oh, okay. No, no, I just, I forgot about it. You're good? Yeah, you okay. sure you're oh, yeah, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I can put more on later, though. <laughs> yeah no i don't want any don't worry um but yes and if any of y'all are 19 plus please do go check out my instagram video i posted a few days ago um uh it's a partnership with sour plus and y'all should go check it out and if you're 19 plus try the cocktail it's sour dreams cocktail maybe that was a little tease for the dream of your soul mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, when Dream of You comes out, you can have your Sour Dreams cocktail and you can be bopping to my song. Um, why 19 plus? Well, uh, I mean like, cause it's uh, a partnership with me and Sour Plus in Canada. And in Canada, the drinking age is 19 plus. So I don't even think they, I don't know what other countries sell Sour Plus, but I know they sell it in Canada. Um, so yeah. 
legal drinking age is what I meant to say. Your legal drinking age. Um, but Ramona, that's very unfortunate. I will have to send you some. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got watermelon, blueberry, and lemon and lime. Now. Oh, no, I got one. Ooh, that sounds good. You could definitely make a, a virgin cocktail as well. Like, just use, like, a blue juice, like a blue raspberry juice, and then leave out the vodka. And then you have a little virgin moment. So, yeah. I want to see it. If you make it, tag me. And if it's virgin, but at virgin, this virgin one. <laughs> Uh, that's where you go. I'm being good. Uh, yeah, they looked amazing. We have sours over here, which is similar to sours. Oh, sours. Interesting. That is interesting. I loved yours, but I don't do well with spicy. So subs wasn't for me. I feel that, like, I actually really like subs because I was nervous with the jalapeno. I was like, hmm, jalapeno. I don't know if I'm, because I usually hate jalapeno. So I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like that or drink. But it was really good. It was a really pleasant surprise. And I think I will be having one again this month. Um, it's a slushy eye on a bat. Oh, that sounds delicious. 21 plus in the USA. Imagine being 19 in the US. <laughs> My personal opinion is that 21 is ridiculous. Um, that's just my opinion. <laughs> like, I think at 19, it, like, cause there's countries where it's like 16. There's a lot of countries where it's 18. It's 18 in Montreal. Um, sorry, in Quebec. But yeah, I just think 21 is so extra. Like, very extra. <laughs> and that's my opinion. Do you watch war movies? Um, not like... I can't say I do. Like, I can't say I don't. I've, I've seen war movies, but I don't, like, religiously watch them. Yeah, see, drinking age in the UK is 18 plus, and, like, I'm born in the UK, so to me, 21 is extra. Canadians are definitely more responsible than Americans, though. I mean, I guess it depends on the person, but I can see what you mean by that in some sense. Like, also, America, like, y'all need to slow it down with your fast food portion sizes. They're a little too much. <laughs> Most people drink when they're way under 21, like, honestly. Um, tea. Tea? I mean, 19 here. I'm 19, y'all. 19 and ready to hit the club. <sighs> What's your take on masculinity? Um, I think masculinity... And toxic masculinity are two different things, and that people get them confused. <laughs> I think that people um, shouldn't use like masculinity and femininity against other people. Like, you know, none of us are made to be put into a box. So I think masculinity becomes toxic when um, you think yourself or others should behave a certain way because of, like, the genitalia they were born with or whatever, um, and, um, masculinity becomes toxic when it is often rooted in misogyny, um, and, yeah, but on the flip side of that, I think it's beautiful for people of all backgrounds and, you know, however you were born, irregardless of that, like, you can express and uh, explore both your feminine, masculine side and everything in between and outside of that. You know, like, I think people get really hung up on the ideals of gender norms and what masculine and what feminine is. But at the end of the day, these are just things that we've grown up with within society that are kind of outdated and well, are outdated. Um, so at the end of the day, what is masculine and what is feminine? Like they're just kind of labels that become redundant if you're just trying to live your authentic self. And when you're trying to live your authentic self, it doesn't matter if something is masculine or feminine. It matters how you want to be and how you want to present it, how you want to feel. There's my rant. <laughs> you can literally buy a gun in America before you can drink. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> Um, how much longer are you going to be on, you know? Um, just a little bit longer. I thought I was going to hit on here for like 30 minutes because I do have a bunch of stuff I need to do. What's he barking at? 
Bring him here. Why? Um, sorry, y'all. I got distracted. Uh, yeah, so we'll be... Um, what's Ju2405? What is that? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Uh, I don't know what we're talking about yet. Oh, yeah, my laptop's about to die, and I have to go to the pool store. Um, I have to take Mocha a walk. I have to clean the house. I have to plan everything to do with Dream of You. Um, and, y'all, yes, very exciting. We'll be posting some TikToks later today as well. And, yeah, I uh, just wanted to come on here and say hi, because I know I said I would be on here every day, and that definitely hasn't happened, but that's because I went to visit my family, and, Things just got a little crazy. So, yeah, I'm just trying to, like, you know, keep it going. Make sure that I'm on here pretty often because I, I don't like to break my promises anymore. I'm trying to get better at that. <laughs> uh, it's fine being masculine as long as you don't feel obligated to be like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, be your – work towards being your authentic self and don't really fall into, like, feeling you need to be a certain way for others. For sure. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, like, labels can be super toxic when they are used against us, especially LGBTQ plus individuals. Um, so, yeah, I think it's about, like, breaking down those, those boxes that society created over time and just be like, no, that doesn't really work for me. Here's what it does. Savannah, love you so much. Thank you, Stephanie, Ramona, Savannah. Uh, it's not letting me scroll any. Sheesh, Aaliyah, Kizzy, Angel, Samantha, Laura, Ju, 2405. Thank you. Good morning. I hope Vancouver is gorgeous. Um, my mentor from university, her name is Rachel David. She's in Vancouver right now, and I've been seeing her stories, and it looks so freaking pretty. And, like, Nick and Anna are about to go there, and I've always wanted to go there, so... I'm really jealous that you are in Vancouver, but I think I'll make it there sometime. Maybe this summer. I'm kind of manifesting it. Oh, I love you, Brib. Um, by the way, your pics on of are amazing. Ah, oh, I'm glad you like them. Subscribe to our OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dion, I came out to my aunt and uncle in honor of Pride Month. They accept. Ah, oh my God. Congratulations. I'm sending you so much love. Everyone, put a round of applause together for Yuna. Happy Pride, Yuna! I'm so happy for you. That's amazing news. Me and Seth have been watching Love, Victor, season two, and, like, crying. Not in crying every five minutes. It's so cute. Uh, except the mom. But it's important because, like, you watch the show and you're like, oh, this mom, like, what a freaking asshole. Because she's, like, struggling to accept him. Um, but it's important that those messages are out there because at the end of the day, you know, like, when you come out to your people you love, like it can go really well. It can also go really badly. And um, to have that representation out there and those storylines out there is super, super important. And um, yeah, it just, it helps, it helps LGBTQ plus youth like understand how coming out is like very intricate and it, it, it can be, Difficult for many ways, and difficult in many ways, but it can also be, like, beautiful in many ways. So, yeah. Disney Plus. Oh, what's on Disney Plus? Oh, I've been watching Loki, the first episode, and then I was, like, ready to watch episode two, and I found out that there's no episode two yet. It comes out weekly, and I hate when shows do that. I'm like, give me the whole show, please. <sighs> oh, yeah, we're not finished with Love, Victor, season two, but we're almost. I think we watched, like, five episodes yesterday. <laughs> Um, I'll be on for a couple more, more minutes, y'all, and then I gotta go get some stuff sorted out. My sister and I are going to start Death Note today. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! The anime, right? Like, don't... Apparently the movie's really bad. I haven't seen it. But the anime is amazing. It's very long. There's, like, a lot of episodes. There's, like, 38 episodes. Um, but it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, people use, like... Some people use religion as, like, an excuse for a lot of things. Um, like, oh, may God be with you. I don't agree with you. And it's like, girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, just my opinion. Love you.
love yourself and love others. It's not that hard. Well, it can be difficult to love yourself, but it's a daily to-do list moment. You know, like you gotta try loving yourself every day, and then you'll you'll get there. So y'all, yeah. what is a pop props chest at? Okay, y'all, we have ten thousand lights in the props chest, so I'm not gonna pop her right now. But I'll be back on here tomorrow, and I'll stay on for longer tomorrow. And then I'll try I'll try planning like a I don't know if I'll do a twenty four hour broadcast. I don't even know how I did that once upon a time. That is crazy. Craziness. But maybe we'll do like a 12 hour broadcast um, in the future. So if y'all are interested in that, hype it up, get excited, and we'll plan a date. Um, and yeah, I love you all so much. Please pre save, pre save, pre save. Please do it. Dream of you, June 25th. Y'all are not ready, but I hope you are because I'm just so humbled and excited to be releasing more music and. I can't wait for y'all to hear it. I love you. Have a great day. Happy Pride Month. And um, yeah, I'll see you later. We're going to be posting some TikToks and I'll post a YouTube video maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I'll let you know. No, probably not tomorrow. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday. But yeah, adios. Bye. Peace out. See you later, gorgeous, dazzlings, beautiful taters of the world. Stay perfect.